Welcome to Musings Television, where your host, Fabian, invites you to bloom with a new perspective that will encourage, uplift, and inspire. Here he is with today's Musings. Welcome to Musings. This week, as we come to you from the Hollywell Recreational Park, in the Blue and John Crow Mountains, Jamaica, overlooking City Kingston in the distance. And on this episode, I invite you to consider the entry Momento Vivere as captured in my recently self-published book, Musings of the Mind, Pros to Encourage, Inspire and Uplift. And it reads, I often ponder what momento vivere, Italian words translated remember to live, means. For the inhibited and conflicted, it often becomes a struggle. When your idea of living conflicts with the world around you, when you often place inhibitions in your own way concerning how you live your life, then it appears to you that you are not truly living. The thief of comparison is likely to compound your frame of reference when you observe things present in the life of those around you, which for one reason or another is temporarily or permanently beyond your grasp. You are bogged down by considerations external to you which essentially shape the life you will most likely lead. For many of us, the emancipation from our mental slavery, the opinions of others, does not come easy. In wisdom, one cannot believe in totality or cannot in totality disregard the opinions of others when through their realities their views form the majority view in any sector of society yet like many who have been able to bend the bars of their mental slavery towards living there is no doubt freedom, freedom experience, liberating without remembering to live. For many, liberation from our mental inhibitions and conflicts of living is a journey filled with highs and lows. The thrills of breaking down the mental bars of our captivity to experience living only return to, the, to return to the prison we have built for ourselves, where the only sentence that puts us there is the law of guilt. In the final analysis, you and I must realize that the only person who has the power to inhibit us in our momento vivere is ourselves. While we are held prisoners to the views of others, we often do not even know who often do not even know that you or I exist we imprison ourselves not living. At the same time, they need not remember to live. Commit yourselves today to permanently bend the bars of your self-imprisonment. Embrace life as you would have it, on your terms, in your timing, guided by your internal wisdom your peace. Momente, momento vivere. Remember to live. Sometime, I don't know if, recall if it's earlier in the, as the year commenced or in the latter part of 2021, I awoke to one of Bob Marley's song playing on the radio and it basically said 
that song that says wake up and live and for some reason just arising from one slumber it kind of entered my mental psyche and I have adopted it in a sense as my mantra my theme for 2022 to wake up and live as captured in the entry just read momento vivere remember to live so many of us I like myself maybe are are imprisoned <laughs> by our own inhibitions and in a sense what our living may mean for others or in a sense how it is that others may interpret our living and what are the consequences that could flow from the opinions of others in relation to how we lead or live our lives but at some point and sometimes I think this comes with age too I think the younger person and from experience I think I would say in, when you're in your early teens and your 20s you are really more likely disposed to being concerned or occupied preoccupied with what, what others think of you um, what others think of your actions and your life choices in a sense but as you grow older those things become less significant because you reach at an age a certain age where you realize that it really doesn't matter what others think and in a sense too you mature into an assurance of self that allows you to break free of those inhibitions that you would have placed on yourself and begin to come out of a certain kind of mental imprisonment in which you would have held yourself back from doing things and going out and seeing the world and just being you authentically you and so as we journey through 2022 if you are one of those like myself who need to break free of those inhibitions and those mental imprisonment those bars of mental imprisonment that you have placed on yourselves and placed yourself in then this is encouragement for you to wake up and live in 2022 to wake up get out the house do those things that you have always wanted to do but keep on putting off and just experience life experience life in the environment which you find yourself the country which you find yourself you may be watching this from some other parts of the world like external to Jamaica the same might apply to you because a lot of these things are a part of the human condition and not necessarily um, subjected to one individual or one race or culture it's a part of the human experience and so as I have taken on for 2022 the mantra to wake up and live to go out and do more to do more if it even if it means doing it by yourself just go out and do more it's always good to have company but if you don't have company you have yourself appreciate your own company and just go for whatever it is that you want to do whatever it is that you find fulfillment in fulfillment in whatever it is that you might have been planning to do but just really have not made the effort to do wake up and go forth and do that thing wake up and live this is life is all about experiencing what life has to offer and if we put ourselves in boxes and in mental prisons 
and are inhibited by others and their views, then we truly will not experience the full gamut of what life has to offer. Our lives really won't be enriched by experiences, by going out and experiencing what there is to experience, to build ourselves, build our self-confidence even in making that effort to go out and do some do 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 that thing. So in the interest of self-fulfillment, self-actualization, of happiness, peace of mind, body, soul, wake up and live. Remember to live. Momento vivere in 22. Don't forget to live. Wake up and live. Remember to live. I trust that you were encouraged, inspired, and uplifted by our Momento Vivere moment coming to you from the Hollywell Recreational Park in the Blue and Jonquil Mountains of Jamaica. Wake up and live. Momento Vivere. In the foreground lies the city of Kingston and its harbor. From, as seen, observed, from the Blue and John Crow Mountains in St. Andrew, Jamaica, and specifically the Hollywell Recreational Park. Remember that you can get a copy of my book, Musings of the Mind, Pros to Encourage, Inspire, and Uplift, via Amazon.com. Please also check out my clothing brand, Affirmation Couture, at Affirmation Couture on Instagram, at the competition, or AffirmationCouture.com. I from Hollywell Recreational Park in the Blue and Jonker Mountains, Jamaica, as we take in the views of City Kingston below us. There you have it, this week's musings. We hope you found it encouraging, inspiring, and uplifting. Let Fabian know your thoughts by leaving a comment on this video. Do spread the word and invite others to subscribe to Musings Television. Until next week, may your hearts remain ever joyful.